honorable members honorable deputy speaker second calling attention shivanji vegas speaker sir मा कई समझना ये कॉलिंग एटेंशन आज दिवे क्या ऑलरेडी डिमांड्स काल ये सगले उलयले नो बडी इज लुकिंग इन टू दीस सिटन दीस वॉज एक्जेक्टली डिस्कस्ड येस्टे ये कॉलिंग एटेंशन पतन का आज सो आई डोट नो हाउ आर वी मेनेजिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स समथिंग हेज टू बी डन समझना जो काल डिमांड्स ये सगले उलये कॉलिंग एटेंशन नो नो आई वील मूव इट आई वील नॉट विड्रो बट दे शूड बी सम मेनेजमेंट नो वेन वी आर डूइंग थिंग्स attention move the calling attention so i would like to uh, move the calling attention uh, should i read it no yes of uh, course you have to read it attention of the member. house attention of the house is drawn to the state of unemployment in goa especially the youth despite the claims of economic growth and development moreover lack of guidance and support from government has the youth feeling helpless and disillusioned the steps to government to give necessary access to resources and support to the youth to succeed honorable minister yes sir i stand to answer to the calling attention raised by honorable uh, member captain venzi vegas speaker sir department of labor and employment is proactive with the directorate of industries trade commerce and directorate of skill development and entrepreneurship to ensure that goans get maximum opportunities for seeking employment in goa under regional employment exchange the model career center has organized job fair and placement drive to bridge the gap between job seekers and employers in addition career counseling career guidance program soft skill training sessions on civil service competitive exams banking exams preparation and entrepreneurship orientation programs have been organized in order to enhance the skills of job seekers as per market requirement therefore the endeavor of the government is to connect all the job seekers career aspirants across goa with the relevant career and employment opportunities according to their skills aptitude qualification and interests thus bringing talent clo closer to opportunities the the department is exploring for the state amendment of the central act the employment exchange compulsory notification of vacancies act 1959 to bring more stringent mechanism of ensuring compliance by various companies and firms speaker sir unemployment has been a big issue in our state every year there have been students passing out every year there has been vacancies that we are expecting but burgyang siris mena ani day by day our unemployment ratio is going high speaker sir maksta kal ami bharpur basabas kelliya what is missing here is government job fairs government job fairs should be and the next in this uh, budget or till the 31st of march 2025 government job fairs am job fairs kotha ite private aatai ani job fair karu sotai government a gele job fair पी डब्ल्यू डी थिंग आसपा जाए वैकेंसी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी डिपार्टमेंट सगले एकट जाए जॉब फेर थिंग भाषी कराए सो डेट इट इज इन अ वेरी ट्रांसपरंट मैनर्स बिकॉज सर सेकेंड थिंग इज वी वुड लाइक टू सी द पर्संटेज इन रिडक्शन ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट पर्संटेज इन रिडक्शन ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट गेलते वर्षा कित अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट आने ये वर्षा कित अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट जला पर्संटेज वाढ़ा वो देंवला आनी एक वर्षा ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव कित प्लेन आ दौपा 
वो स्टेटिस्टिक्स रेशियो मार्क्स आता काढपा गरज आए का वी वील एबल टू वर्क ऑन इट नाव एज वी स्पोक एस्टिडे ड्यूरिंग द डिमांड्स गवर्मेंट जॉब सगले घर घर दिवा तुमको जापना हर घर जल मुटा तुम्हें तो जल ही जाल ना दिवक मार्क्स आता हर घर गवर्मेंट नौकरी मुटा ती तुमको जापना सो ते जो तो जाएना जैर वी हैव टू मेक शुअर दैट देर इज अ डिसंट जॉब इन ऑर्डर टू एन्श्योर द एस डी जी द एस डी जी गोल नंबर वन काल जे भाषेन संगले सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल नंबर वन इज नो पॉवर्टी आनी नो पॉवर्टी जो जैर सस्टेनेबल गोल नंबर वन एचीव जो जैर वी नीड टू हैव दैट वी हैव गॉट हेल्दी जॉब्स एंड एवरीबडी गेट्स जॉब्स वेर द सैलरी इज वेरी हेल्दी आज गोयकार भूगे भाई रोयता क्या हमको हिंगा गोयन जॉब हेल्दी जॉब्स विथ गुड सैलरी दिवा जाएना जरी तरी हम हेल्दी जॉब्स विथ गुड सैलरीज दिवा जाएना जैर भाई वोपाच एरेंजमेंट तंका ऑप्शन दिवा जाए जे भाषे ना हिंग गायला द गवर्मेंट इज नॉट इवन शोइंग गाइडन्स हाउ डू वी गो अब्रॉड जरी तरी आज हमको वर्षा समझ एक दा हजार जॉब्स दिवक प्लेन आ जो गवर्मेंट जॉब्स आनी पांच हजार जॉब्स समझ प्राइवेट सेक्टर गोया दिवा जॉब्स पांच हजार भूगें भाई कित को वाय आम सेंग लाइक दीस इज बिकॉज आवर गोवन बॉयज लाइक टू गो ऑल्सो ऑन द शिप आना हाँ शिपिंग बैकग्राउंड आई कैन ब्रिंग शिपिंग कंपनीज टू गोवा आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड आई एम टेकिंग इनिशिएटिव चीफ मिनिस्टर इज अवेर ऑफ दीज इनिशिएटिव्स एंड ही हैज ऑल्सो एप्रिशिएटेड दैट वी आर ब्रिंगिंग शिपिंग कंपनीज टू गोवा तो जैर आई थिंक वी शूड आइडेंटिफाई अ स्पेस इफ यू कैन गीव अ स्पेस I will start getting shipping companies to open up offices in Goa. Give them space. I'm going to give them a space. I'm going to give them a floor. I'm going to give them a floor. I'm going to give them a floor. I don't know, collectorate building is a floor. I'm going to give them 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 a floor. I'm going to give ना ना हम गवर्मेंटा जॉब्स हाँ उलना गवर्मेंटा जॉब्स हाँ उलना हाँ हाँ शिपिंग कंपनीज गोया हाड़पा वेर दे वील स्टार्ट गिविंग जॉब्स टू गोवन्स सो ते जरी तरी ये वी हैव टू गीव देम स्पेस लाइजनिंग ऑफिस कर सो तो गीव अस स्पेस गीव अस स्पेस वी वील ब्रिंग इन एटलीस्ट टेन टू फिफ्टीन कंपनीज हियर हू वुड लाइक टू कम एंड एंड गेट स्टेशन सो दीस वील हेल्प दीस वील हेल्प गीव मी स्पेस आई वील गेट इन ऑल द कंपनीज वेर दे वील हैव परमनंट स्पेस so this will help in order to reduce that is because and the other member michael lobo speaker sir kal e bare only discussion jalle pan minister reply karun pavana ki dek late jalli tene khali reply read kela ane sangle am reply kotta kotta man tene hale naka man ah i am late jaun don't think late jalli ha late hi jalli स्पीकर सर मज एक पॉइंटेड पॉइंटेड एक क्वेश्चन है आनी एक सजेशन है तुका कि हाँ काल संगले कि गोये भूगे कित शिकता जे हम यूथ आ स्कूल गेले कॉलेजी गेले शिकले अनएम्प्लॉयड उत्ता दे आर इन सर्च ऑफ गवर्मेंट जॉब गवर्मेंट जॉब सक मेना फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी थाउजंड जॉब्स तो रिटायरमेंट जाले उपरानु एक जॉब ये कित भूगे ये पंद्रह हजार भूगे ये एक फाइव जॉब्स पंद्रह हजार भूगे ये इट इज इट इज बिकमिंग अ प्रॉब्लम सो वाय वी आर नॉट कन्सिडरिंग एंड वाय यू आर नॉट अंडर योर डिपार्टमेंट मुझे ये सगले जे हम स्किल्ड जॉब्स आ वेदर इट इज हाँ काल संगले तुका एज अ एज अ इलेक्ट्रिशियन प्लम्बर ये सगले इंका भूगें शिकोन तंका कॉन्ट्रेक्टर जाता आज हम गोयन कॉन्ट्रेक्टर को भाई आ नॉट गोवन्स all these contractors who are here today whether they are painters whether they are carpenters whether they are uh, all the skilled je labor jay patta ye contractor baile and tencha under thode jan goyankar amche kaam karta pun amche burgyang hi certificate to shikoy tenka ni certificate di tenka ye saglo trade shikoy mason asu to mason asu carpenter asu car, uh, plumber asu पेंटर आसू वेगवेगे ये आ स्ट्रीम्स आए पे कुशन मेकर आसू नी मे कुशन घपा कित लगता मे आई एम टॉक अबाउट कुशन्स फॉर दीस चेज सोफा कुशनिंग वो वो कॉन्ट्रेक्ट जता तो फाइनली यू मेक देम कॉन्ट्रेक्टर्स गोवन बॉयज शूड शूड लर्न दीज एज अ स्किल हतुन 
सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट क्रिएट करूँ जाता विल यू कन्सिडर दीस टू एज अ एज अ सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट बिजनेस सो दैट अ गोन बॉय और अ गर्ल कैन बिकम अ बिग कॉन्ट्रेक्टर आफ्टर लर्निंग दीस आफ्टर गेटिंग युअर सर्टिफिकेट हाँ मुटा स्किल एम्प्लॉयमेंट स्किल डेवलपमेंट आ ना तो हाँ जे उलता तसे ना ते तुझे डिपार्टमेंटान करूं शकता का तू ये ना एम्प्लॉयमेंट जे हाँ एम्प्लॉयमेंट जे भूगे अनएम्प्लॉयड उरत आ देन दे वॉन्ट टू गो टू मुंबई बेंगलोर हिंगा थिंगा थिंगा वोता काम वीस पंचीस हजार गोयन करूं शकता थोड़े जान भाई वो सोता नहीं गोयन जाऊं शकता कि गवर्मेंट कि इनिशिटीव घरपा बरकर स्पीकर सर काल हजेर डिस्कशन जाए खूब जान कलिग्स आसा तैन उ आता अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट हो सकून मेजर इश्यू गोयन आसा यूथ तुम पता गोई यूथ आज सामक डिप्रेस जाले आसा काम मेना आज प्राइवेट सेक्टर गवर्मेंट सेक्टर तुम पता गवर्मेंटान पास हजार एप्लीकेशन आसता प्राइवेटान कित एप्लीकेशन आसता आनी आज गोयन अठरा इंडस्ट्रीयल स्टेट्स आसा आता इंडस्ट्रीयल स्टेट हाड़पे कारण कि कारण आसले कि एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेट जा बिजनेस ऑपर्चुनिटी जनरेट जा मत स्पीकर सर आता खेत दिसन ये स्पीकर सर आना काल मिनिस्टर रिप्लाय दिल्ली आ रिप्लायन संगला कि प्राइवेट सेक्टर गोयकार रिजर्वेशन करूं शकना मूँ आता रिजर्वेशन कर शकना एक एक ये मुझे डायरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट जो आउट जो आता भूगें करपे तरी कि जेना इंडस्ट्रीन जेना एप्लीकेशन घता मिनिस्टर आयोन घ एक को सी वी घी सी वी एप्लीकेशन घे काम दिना भाई जाए ते वेकन्सी करता को इंडस्ट्री आसा खुद एक इंडस्ट्री आसा ती कंपनी भाई ये करता इंटरव्यूज कंडक्ट करता गोयन करना आता गोयन सोल इंडस्ट्री आसा गोयचो रिसोर्सीस यूज करता लैंड आसा उदक आसा पावर सप्लायो आसा रोड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन आसा सोले दिता प्रोवाइड करता गो सरकार जो जो पैसो आसा ये डेवलपमेंट इंडस्ट्रीयल एरिया डेवलप कर पैस वो मत हम यूथा स्पीकर जो थे काम मेना जा धंदो पास उद्योग मेरे धंदो जो थोड़े जान आज पास संगता कित जान फोन मारता बसी थोड़ी घो बसी का उड़ता कैंटीन को घले कैंटीन का उड़ता सोले भाई दिता आनी हजेर जो ये आसा मेरे एम्प्लॉयमेंट एम्प्लॉयमेंट डिपार्टमेंटा जो कंट्रोल तो मात ना आका लगन आजून पर स्पीकर सर जो डिपार्टमेंटान स्ट्रीक एक्शन कर आज कितलेश कंप्लेनी मिनिस्टरा कड़े वा डिपार्टमेंटा कड़े वा मत तेजी एक्शन कहीं जाएना आता भूगें तरनाटे जो भूगे आज पास आउट जो ग्रेजुएशन पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन इंजिनियरिंग करता टेक्निकल एडुकेशन करता को आज आईटी आईटीआई जे करता स्किल डेवलपमेंट मैं सी एम खूब फाउटी अपस्किलिंग रिस्किलिंग ती पास ऑलमोस्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू एल्यू थर्टी टू थर्टी टू पर्संटू काम मेटा बाकी सोले बेकार उरता सो अभी अभी जी ये आसा तीन खे ना खे हंड्रेड पर्संट गवर्मेंट आईटीआई जी आसा तीत भूगें इंडस्ट्रीन क्या लगा शकना क्या लगन तो ये कर सकना दुसरे मुझे आता मिनिस्टर रिप्लाय दिया कि करियर काउंसिलिंग करियर गाइडन्स प्रोग्राम सॉफ्ट स्किल ट्रेनिंग सेशन्स ऑन सिवील सर्वीस कंप्यूटर एग्जाम्स बैंक बैंकिंग एग्जाम्स प्रिपेरेशन एंड एंटरप्रिनरशीप ओरिएंटेशन प्रोग्राम्स हम मुद्दम विचार सोता क्या कि ये हंगा बरयला तेजर आयोप बर दिता पुण मेन मुझे क्या आसा ग्राउंड रियालिटी क्या आसा ग्राउंड रियालिटी जो इतने प्रोग्राम कहीं जाएना स्पीकर सर मैं आंसर मिनिस्टर कहते हैं कि कितने प्रोग्राम टोटल कंडक्ट जाए क्या आजू पर ग्रेजुएटेड भूगे आसा तंका आजू पर खबर ना खुबशा भूगें आजू पर खबर ना कि कसली कसली एग्जामी आसा कश फुढ़े वे आजू पर खबर ना सो ये जो समझ करता ना पैलूच कर जेना फाइनल इयर भूगे जेन आसता प्रोग्राम कंडक्ट जा तंका पैलूच खबर आसपा कि आंसर करते मत जाएना स्पीकर सर आनी खे ना खे आज डिपार्टमेंट सी एम चिंतक जाए कि भूगे आज तरनाटे जे आसा तो करता तरी कि क्या जो फेज आसता जो इम्पॉर्टंट पिरियड आसता एक एक वर्स समझ पास आउट जो एक वर्स जान मैं फुड़ो पिरियड आसता थर्टी वर्स पास समझ काम मेना ना तुम फ्यूचर तो काबार जो तो मैं सोरो पीव पड़ता ड्रग्स घोपा पड़ता आनी वाइट व्यसन पड़ता सो ये खे ना खेल कमी करते ना वो डिपार्टमेंट एग्रेसिव रहा खूब गरजे एग्रेसिवली काम कर गरजे रिजर्वेशन जे आसा खूब गरजे आसा ना जो स्पीकर जो को दुसरे स्टेटी ये एवरी टाइम ये संगले आसा दुसरे स्टेटी योन योन जॉब्स घून वो भूगें वो खेल दुसरे आता गोई भूगें दुसरे स्टेटी वो पड़ता दुसरे कंट्री वो पड़ता तारवटी आज कितने जान वेंजी बाबा संगले कितने जान तारवटी आसा 
कित्याक गोंयान जॉबां आसून मेळना स्पीकर सर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आमी फार्मासिटिकल हितून पळयता आसतले फार्मासिटी जे फार्मासी पास जाता तेंकाच आयज फार्मासिटिकल हितून कामां मेळना कितलेशे जाण भुरगे आसा सिक्स्टी वेकन्सीज हे सिक्स्टी स्टुडंट पास आवट जाता तितूनचे आता कितले चारशी चारशी पोस्ट धपक्याक एक फार्मासिटिकल कंपनी काडटा मात तेंकां भितर घेयना हे खंय ना खंय कंपलसरी करपाक जाय कित्याक आमी हांगा शिकयता भुरगे हांगा शिकोन कितें बेकार उरता सो हांव नको आमी हांगा डिस्कशन हेज्या पयलू खुबशी केल्ली आसा आतांय करता फुडेय करीत उरतले पण आयज खंय ना खंय आमी समज लक्षान घेयना की ह्या तरणाट्यांक आयज आमची गरज आसा मिनिस्टरान लक्षान घेवपाक जाय सीएमान लक्षान घेवपाक जाय की हांकां गरज आसा समज आमी हे लक्षान घेवन एक प्रायोरिटीचेर एक कायदो हाडलो आनी कायदे हाडला ते पालन करून खंय ना खंय हांकां स्ट्रीक हे जितले इंडस्ट्री आसा तांकां स्ट्रिक्टली इम्प्लिमेंट जावं ते हॉटेल इंडस्ट्री आसा तांकां स्ट्रिक्टली इम्प्लिमेंट करपाक जाय की आमच्या भुरग्यांक घेवपाक जाय म्हटल्यार घेवपाक जाय आयज कित्याक घेयना आमी सगळे प्रोवायड करता कित्याक लागून घेयना आमी भुरगे शिकले सगळे शिकोन बसून बेकार आसा आनी काम विलिंग करता काम करपाक सोदता तरी पूण घेयना आमच्या फुड्यान कितले सिवी जाता मात ते म्हणटा आमी घेव घेवपाक शकता तेंचे आचार म्हणटा आमचे आमचे नॉर्म्स आसा कसले नॉर्म्स आसा स्पीकर सर गोंयकारांक घेवपाचे नॉर्म्स आसा गोंयकारांक घेवपाचे ना म्हणून नॉर्म्स केल्ले आसा स्पेशल स्पीकर सर सो हे हे आमचे अन्याय आसा गोंयकारांचेर सो म्हाका दिसता मिनिस्टरान सीएमान मेळोन खंय ना खंय आमचे गोंयकारांचे भुरग्यांचेर जे अन्याय जाता हे जो खंय ना खंय ठोस उपाय काडपाक जाय ना जाल्यार अशेच चालू उरतले आमी भाषणां दीत उरतले आनी भाषणां दिवन गोंय हे सोंपतले गोंयकार सोंपतले आनी गोंयकार तरणाटे जे आसा तेंकां भायर वयचे पडटले निलेश कब्रा स्पीकर सी स्पीकर सर आय राईज टू स्पीक ऑन द कॉलिंग अटेन्शन मूड ऑफ माय कलीग वेनजी बाब स्पीकर सर आय रेड आन्सर द डिपार्टमेंट इज एक्सप्लोरिंग द फॉर अ स्टेट अमेंडमेंट टू द सेंट्रल ऍक्ट द एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंज नोटिफिकेशन वेकन्सीज इन नाईन्टीन फिफ्टी नाईन स्पीकर सर इफ द ऍक्ट इज ऑफ द सेंटर अँड द स्टेट it is compulsory that every uh, every company who has got above 25 employees have to write to your uh, employment exchange yeah, reducing it down no i'm just saying 25 employees whether it is not mentioned contractual or regular employees in the company that that can what you are trying to reduce and reduce see but uh, see what happens because sir that the uh, the company has to write to the employment exchange the employment exchange has to uh, as per suitable people have to send the call letters they have to send a list like how government is it does they have to send to the private individuals they have to take the interview. whether they take or not take is a different subject matter that is one if they don't do they are they have a fine of 10000 rupees 500 rupees it was no no it is increased in 2000 no, now, now we are increasing no it is all, central government has increased to 10000 that provision when they removed a uh, section for uh, now, now yeah, it is there it is there mm-hmm. i can if you want i can read it out to you i'll read it out to you if you want speaker sir i can read it out honorable uh, minister the act also requires to provide returns relating to the employee situation information collected by employment exchange accessible and in case they provide and it is 10000 rupees speaker sir speaker sir my contention to honorable minister every time we speak about labor and employment and it comes to honorable minister as he is a minister of labor and employment but what has happened speaker sir that how do we do i have seen honorable cm do a nice job last time that one uh, he has uh, given more than 15000 apprentice schemes apprentice was there before also and apprentice is there in private also but how many such people in a private institute have taken apprentice how many people have gone that i think some data has to be taken in the government is all full they get from 8000 10000 12000 rupees what honorable cm looking at this uh, move central government in the last budget yesterday's budget has also made this provisions it's a good thing sir and they are giving for one year to the private employees the salary minimum salary up to 1 lakh rupees speaker sir i think we can also look into that angle where honorable cm can look now since he has already started the movement wherein we can give them subsidies if they take local, local employment in the electrical bill in the water bill some sort of a subsidy element that if local employment is taken because we can't force what what you said in your reply yesterday is that you can't force them to take i know you cannot force them you can they can only be requested to be take, taken but every individual today is looking at profits every individual is looking at his part of profit and as rightly pointed out yesterday by my colleagues that one gm comes from uh, some state and then he removes all the other employees from going so speaker sir aaj maka dista we have to look at a holistic angle giving them the benefits uh, in such a way that our local people are employed today if you go to see uh, you find in vanna industrial state such a big industrial state so many companies are working but if you go to see how many such goans are working there and how long they are working there and what type they were, how they are working i think we have to look into this angle sit with honorable cm 
find some solutions to stake them on Indian hotel industry. Today, Michael Bab is there. He, in, his, in his constituency, so many hotels are there. So what I am saying, even the hotel industry, people study, and the hotel industry do not take people because they took the experience and they go on the ship. But then if we incentivize them, give them something, we can work out on solution. I think holistically, we have to look at it. Today, if you see admissions, give me two more minutes, admissions in the colleges, engineering colleges has dropped. So, so many students are there, uh, vacancies to be filled, and there are no takers for these, uh, some of the courses. Why is that, Speaker Sir? Speaker Sir, I think we have to look at holistically. Now, the word holistically I'm using from yesterday. What I'm trying to tell is we have to work together to really find a solution to our problem. I know that one, like uh, some ministers or MLAs are bringing buses, uh, keeping buses to bring employees, even up to Bamuli, uh, bringing from uh, there to even Verna. So that some people can uh, afford to. But I think holistically we should look into finding the solutions of problem to this problem. Because employment is a real issue. Now let us see what Honorable CM has done and made uh, these people uh, employable, like giving them one year training in government, uh, almost 15,000 people. Now they have, uh, in, from this month, last month, they are completing one year. So these people can be recommended in one of these, uh, one of these uh, situations. So I would like to you to kindly see into this matter and find a practical solution so that the Goan youth today are employable and unemployed directly by the company instead of getting second, third company contract. Under the company contract, they have been taken, Speaker Sir. Thank you, Speaker Sir. Alice Lawrence. Uh, Speaker Sir, I am uh, not a very senior MLA, but successive governments I have seen. And the issue is that whether we can employ our people or not. Successive governments, successive MLAs. When I was a new MLA also, I spoke. But now we have reached a stage where I think the minister should tell whether we can employ or we can't employ, why we can't employ, what is the reason why we can't employ in the factories or when in the companies or in private. I will add to what uh, Mr. Uh, Honorable colleague, my colleague, Honorable uh, uh, MLA Kabral said. He said that there are buses to bring some government servants in particular institutions like GMC, Secretariat. There is a bus coming from one constituency. There are not only bus coming from two constituencies. There is a bus coming from... So, Honorable Leader of the Opposition, let me finish. Uh, I would like to say that there is a bus coming. Uh, Kadamba has been stopped. Kadamba has been stopped for his use for public. And a Kadamba is put to bring uh, government servants, both in the JMC and here. Please verify this. If you want, I will give details of the bus number. I will give you everything. It doesn't augur well for me to say it is their luck, but it has to be luck of the others also when it comes to government service. Now, when it comes to private, please, Honorable Minister of Labor, please clear out. Because continuously we can't go in, we can't, we have to reach a stage. If we can't, what is the solution? What is the path ahead? We can't keep talking the, talking the same thing again and again and again and again, waste the precious time of the House. So I would request the Minister, be clear. Come with a clear-cut proposal, what is going to be our plan ahead of future? Otherwise, it's going to be a talk for the gallery. There are so many children here in the gallery. They also should know. So I would request the Honorable Speaker to request the Honorable Minister to quite clear these things. Thank you, Speaker, sir. Rodolfo Fernandez. Sir, <coughs> Employment Manager, Kulaydana. We have to say that we have to college in Shingta. जी बुर्गी शिंगता तेरना तेंका कंपनी नी जाओ गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल जाओ फैक्ट्रीज आनिक होटल सब की दोषी जन्नत तेंका रिक्वायरमेंट आस्ता तेरना ये कंपनी नी जाओ गवर्नमेंट आन तेंका स्कॉलन डायरेक्ट स्कॉलन जन्नत पैदी पास आउट जाओ पाजी आते तेरना तेंका सेलेक्ट कर पाजी आन तेंका एम्प्लाई कर पाजी � तेरे को नाउटे नाउटो तीन का तो जॉब आ गया ही था जलर ये चोरां चोर पर आते ले तेरे को नेक सजेशन अल्ले गवर्नमेंट आक ये ज़्यादा तो बुरियां के चोरां चोर बुरी फैसिलिटी में होती ले थैंक यू मानवल मिनिस्टर आई जस्ट सेड आई वांट स्पीक लॉन्ग क्योंकि कल्चर दिशा का मोले ले Honourable Minister has said that it is not possible this menace of uh, unemployment is something that is happening in the country, but specifically, we are the second highest 
in the country with regards to the unemployment figures. With Niti Aayog, Zau CMI, they have certified this double engine sarkar of the failure with… Because, sir, point of order, Niti Aayog has not certified, the CMI is a private body. Niti Aayog has not… Speaker, sir, I will place, I will place what I said. I will place planning and statistics department also has given figures, saying that our average is 3.2 percent higher than the national average. This is the certificate given to the double engine sarkar. Speaker, sir, Aaj Operation Zoha, yesterday we spoke, Anik, how does it start? I believe that recently Chief Minister has made an announcement that two lakh jobs will be given. So, on what basis were this, was this promise made? Don't lack job ditle mo. Don't lack job asa matla ditle mo. Speaker, sir, speaker, sir, asa, amai diupa nahi. Thank you, Friji. Diupa chate. Amai, tenth mo diupa chate. Amai, speaker, sir, mukhel mantri in maga dispa jai. First of all, labor and employment ministry, je record ahle. Je record karpa tum circular karlo. That they should stop. Speaker Sir, crime is more than crime, and when there is no crime, there is no FIRO register. Speaker Sir, I would like to say that coming to the point, the rise of these figures, Speaker Sir, is a collective thing because of the closure of the MSMEs that has happened, because of the faulty policies, demonetization, regressive GST policy. All these things are part of the double-engine government. Speaker Sir, the micro-establishment has come. Kabral Bab, Edisar Mark, this is the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Two days ago, it's the same thing. Speaker Sir, the same thing is the self-employment. This basically, if you look... It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Speaker Sir, the same thing is the same thing. There are a lot of faulty policies. I'll give an instance. Investment Promotion Board. Lacks of square meters of land was given. And investment was promised. How many jobs are given? And how many jobs are given to Goans? I think today we will uh, speak on it in detail. But Speaker Sir, basically, if you look at instances, I believe three companies advertised the post outside Goa. Chief Minister had to intervene. Then they released a statement after Chief Minister intervening. Why they are not uh, 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 informing you in the first place about this position? Why is the Employment Exchange not aware? What action you have taken on SIPLA, or NCUBE, when they are advertising our position? Can you take action? Okay, you can't take as per the law. It's because a uh, job fair modila. Job fair, you have spent, I think so, three and a half crores or something. Three and a half crores, 21,780 applications to be precise, and 530. Oh, 2000, I give no, your reply is the 500 and something. I will give you that also. Now, I, old reply, old reply is pertaining Total. to the same job fair. Did you have another job fair? Total what we said, as far as this place. Because, sir, right, I am speaking specifically from, from, from the replies. And that you had 33 placement drives all over the state. In that 33 placement drives, 43. I asked you. 43. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. Yesterday it was 33. Of these 33, I'll give you as well. 33 J. Alle placement drives. Of that 33 placement drive, about 200 people jobs were given. I asked for 200. 2120 offers are given. Are you speaker sir? Kalch is at 200. Ali, which the minister agreed. Out of which, how many, how many, how many now maglo ay kal? Tu hi mudo mare now nae mo tu kar kalo. Ye ratya mito change dale. Mas haban na. Speaker sir, Kalch is at I raised this, and it is not the way. I'll show you your reply. I'm not speak. Bist varya mana offer and poke far no. Huh? It's because so I, uh, I would like to stress this is a uh, very, very serious issue and uh, it, let's not uh, politicize it. But in general, if you look, how is the Goa government serious? If you all are serious, what are the ways, where are the avenues, whether employment generated across the state, not don't tell me through IPB, IPB, so much is lying idle. There, it has not happened. What are the other avenues that they are looking at? I agree that Sogla Sarkari Nokri government's uh, jobs cannot be given. But what have you done in the private sector? 
Because if you look at whatever job fairs, the way it is only looking like an event, nothing else more than an event. So very, very seriously, Jen data to Koha. For instance, uh, you said that uh, about 1,16,000 people were unemployed that applied to the online portal. I had asked you yesterday whether the 1,16,000 what data here, what, what is their future now? This is what you had given me last day, the reply. So, Magadista, hui na hui, it is the collective responsibility of this government. There is a failure. Let us accept it and let us work towards it. If the central government, Ani Tunjmot Zoritori, Kai Solna, Ati Kalchi Disak, so let the minister reply to us that if we are serious and give us a time bound thing, Anka label Mela, second highest unemployed state in the country. What are the things we are doing to improvise the position? Honorable Minister. Yes, sir. Government is making all out efforts as far as the employment to go on youth are concerned. So uh, as far, uh, far as, see, programs have been conducted for, uh, by empro employment exchange for, uh, as far as uh, career guidance, entrepreneurship, uh, civil service competitive, uh, bank, uh, banking, soft uh, skill training. 272 such uh, uh, programs have been con uh, conducted. You had asked me the, uh, the same. And placement uh, drives uh, job fairs, it is total uh, 42, 43, ah, so 43, 43. And how many were placed, jobs were placed? As I had given everything, total out of the, uh, these, uh, whatever this pla uh, placement and job phase, we, uh, we managed to get around 2,000 jobs. That is the yesterday I had given you an answer for that. Offer had given already? For 2,000. Uh, 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 now, as far as. Now, no. See, in the. See, as far as government is concerned, government had come up with a scheme to, uh, as far as to employ local youths, go on, uh, go on youth. Be, uh, there is an industrial policy which has uh, come out and there was a scheme, employment subsidy uh, scheme, where you get, uh, get um, see, all micro, mid, uh, small, medium, large manufacturing units, hinterland eco uh, tourism project in lesser developed tal uh, talukas, which are employing minimum 60% regular go on employees being paid minimum salary of rupees 8,000 per month are el uh, el eligible. The benefits are reimbursement of 50% of the salary paid to go on eligible youth pertaining to micro, uh, micro small, medium unit and reimbursement uh, of 25% of salaries paid to go on eligible employees for large units as per proportionate specified in the scheme. Subsidy amount of rupees 53.88 uh, lakhs was released so far. Now, important thing is, out of the, uh, these, even after announcing this scheme, it is only four companies basically who has been, uh, availed of this uh, scheme. Now, why this? Why this thing? I'll give you the. Anyway, I don't know. It is only four uh, four companies. Government is going on, doing all efforts basically as far as to uh, uh, so that Goan youth basically gets be benefit and gets empl uh, employment. Why they are advertising their post out? No, as far as advertisement, uh, there was uh, two companies which had advertisement uh, advertised their post outside. And we have already issued them uh, Indico, Pharma, and uh, Unicoup, UQ, and Cube. Show cause notice has already been uh, issued to, the, uh, to them, and a case has been filed by J uh, in uh, JMFC. Uh, and plus, we have uh, come up with a, this thing. Uh, first, uh, there was a, this thing that if uh, anyone defaults uh, as far as this uh, act is uh, concerned, uh, where advertise, to advertise that this thing uh, outside is, is concerned, the fine was for, uh, 500 rupees. So it was becoming very uh, convenient actually for the, uh, them, even if they advertise and they uh, paying a fine of 500 had no meaning whatsoever. So we have amended basically that uh, this thing, that we have increased the f uh, fine to uh, 10,000 rupees, one leg and plus a fine, uh, uh, plus an imprisonment, uh, imprisonment also we have uh, done that. No. See, we just, are making... Just, I would just like to add that pharmaceutical between company under Essential Service Act for Allah, Mukil Mantri bought a bill. They basically use that as disguise, as a weapon. And they are retrenchments all the Dura line, for example, is a classic example. Where they are using them, transferring them under Essential Service Act, and they are transferring them to Kashmir, Sikkim, where they are going to you need to... See, sometimes there is a policy of the uh, company. Policy, we cannot interfere into the policy of the company. No, no, but they are doing that to all our goans. See, once you sign, 
Now it is the Indian government job. Government job. Once you sign a government, a government job also, once you take a government job, is clearly you got to give undertaking that wherever you are basically transfer, uh, transferred, you got to, uh, got to go. So same thing, there must be a policy as far as the companies are concerned. No, no, under now, what they, act, what under, is that? Uh, under Essential Service Act, they are using that to their advantage. You are talking, talking, talking about these pharma companies? Yes. No, no, but then, see, it must be within their company rules, you know, what they are doing. You we can. cannot, we cannot basically stop or we cannot in directly interfere in, in the no, country. You can, you can. We How cannot send them no, notices. You cannot. have sent them notices the way, same way you act, no, be a little strict no, with no, them. No, no, but I, I don't believe that we can interfere in that this thing where as far as that transfer uh, things are uh, concerned. No, I'm not saying. That must be a policy of, uh, of uh, the uh, company. See, we are... Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. It is wrong, basically, to, uh, for you all to say that we are not doing any efforts as far as uh, to see that uh, empl uh, go on the empl employed. We are not we are saying the figures are saying they did. No, we are not the saying. The figures, see, we, it is, we have not actually uh, disputed this, uh, those figures. It was in, uh, important that our department basically should have uh, filed uh, this thing as far as the, it was uh, that whatever the survey, what they had done, it was a wrong survey. And the survey was not done by Niti Ayog. Uh, sir, they had, uh, I think, appointed some. They had appointed some people. released a figure just three, four months back. Yeah, I know, we are aware of that. But that is a wrong figure, what we are uh, trying to get. Double in see, no one, figure is wrong? See, now if you go to... From now, Delhi, private, it is a figure. Private, not by double figure, huh? figure is wrong. EMI. We have already written to Planning them. and statistics are figure wrong on the other We have already returned to them, basically, to say that whatever figure that they have got, through whichever company or whichever survey they have... Um, they have uh, done that that uh, figure and that we are disputing we are disputing that figure now as far as employment is concerned you do uh, see one lakh if you say one lakh or 16, uh, 16 thousand youth then you would find everyone idle roaming around it is not so it is as far as the government jobs are concerned even if someone has a private job no one wants to remove their names from the employment exchange uh, this thing so if these pe uh, people whoever are employed now suppose in my staff only, my staff there must be 10, uh, ten people who are, uh, are employed. But their names will still figure in the employment exchange as, uh, as job seekers. So that is the problem what, uh, what uh, is ha uh, happening. That is the reason this figure basically is, uh, rem uh, remains high. That is the duty of the department. See, the duty of the department and the duty of, um, duty of the, um, the pu um, public also, no? Basically to see that someone else should also get an opportunity. See, even if you call them, sometimes they don't, they don't say Minister, that they are employed. Department they don't, the they don't, they don't want to say because they were looking out for government jobs. So, 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 the department data, the data, the department should call up and inquire whether you are employed or you are not employed. The department has called the data. Yeah, nobody will got, tell. Department, department, you know, the department, department, department has got data. No, no, that's the reason I am saying department has got data. Department has got um, all uh, their uh, uh, details. But what happens once, sometimes when you, there may be 10 people who tell out of 100 people. Other people say, no, we are still unemployed. No. Although they are being employed. No, it's not that, that they are not employed. Sort, that's what, that's, that's the reason there is the employment uh, card uh, letter, no? The le yeah, letter has to be sent, but how you should send the letter? See, letter... Ah, I don't want to send the letter, I don't want to send the letter. No, no, letter, see, only the names who are basically, who have got government jobs, their names... No, private jobs also, you can send the letter. Only their names have been deleted from the uh, employment exchange. No, private jobs also, you can send the letter, you can send the letter. See, we like, are... Because it is have, registered with employment see, exchange. See, we are taking all out efforts. As far as the employment of Goan youth is concerned, no, one we more con thing. see we are in the government. We are concerned because we uh, we want to see that our youth basi uh, basically are employed. No, no. Atta ani ek sangle po jo minimum Speaker, sir. employment Speaker, sir. minimum wages. Speaker, Speaker sir. sir. Ekud ekud. Uh, je minimum wages sangle po eight thousand. Eight thousand uh, kono trauji na. Jo atte thi skim karle munda po idu eight thousand kono trauji na. So thi kono minimum wages. 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 Minimum Ho uh, Bob Benzi, MLA Hane ho, uh, calling attention Allah, I am the minister and the ka bare uttaru hi dila vavasthi dritya. How thought as a highlight karta. It is an interdepartment, uh, the labor and employment, skill development, industries, or she is a great department as a link asa. 
पूण हम एक्चुअली फैक्ट जो आसा पे नी इन एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजीन को रजिस्टर्ड क्या करता अपने गवर्मेंट जॉब मेपा जाए मुझे एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजीन रजिस्टर्ड करता जैसे फिफ्टीन इयर्स रेजिडेंस कंपलसरी आता बारावी पास जो कहीं डायरेक्टली तो वो अठरा वर्स एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजीन रजिस्टर्ड करता अपने गवर्मेंट नौकरी जाए ते उपरान तो ग्रेजुएशन करता ते उपरान तो पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन करता ते उपरान तक प्राइवेट नौकरी मेटा प्राइवेट नौकरी मेल उपरान सुधा तो अपना नाव काड़ीना कारण हम गवर्मेंटा रुलात आसा जेना गवर्मेंट जॉब तुका एप्लाय करता एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजी कार्ड एटैच करपा जाए वो कंपलसरी रूल आसा सीन्स फ्रॉम द बिगिनींग क्या तो गोयकार गवर्मेंट नौकरी मेची मुन पंद्रह वर्स कंपलसरी आम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजी कार्ड कंपलसरी अपने नाव अपन प्राइवेटान लगलो सुधा कैंसल कर मनना शिकता आसाना जे रजिस्टर्ड करता पे नीचे बारावी जाने उपरान रजिस्टर्ड करता तो नाव कंटिन्युअसली ग्रेजुएट पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट आता हम फिगर ये वन लैख फिफ्टी नाइन थाउजंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी सिक्स एकॉर्डिंग टू यू हम एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजीन रजिस्टर्ड आसा हमें जॉब जाए मुन आता जॉब जाए मुन आसाना तू मा तो टेलिफोनिकली कन्फर्म के कितने भूगे प्राइवेट नौकरेन आसा सुरू आसा प्रोसेस भर चौपन हजार फिफ्टी फोर थाउजंड वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी टू तैंने ने एक्सेप्ट के अपन प्राइवेट जॉब करता आता मैं गवर्मेंट जॉब जाए मुझे मजे थे नाव आसूनी तो कन्फर्म के हतुत चौपन हजार माइनस जाए तीत पर बाकी फोन करप सुरू आ तीत फोन के तंका विचार अठरा हजार दौनशे चौसठ भूगें संगले अपन अपने एजुकेशन फुढ़े कंप्लीट ग्रेजुएशन करता पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन करता एटीन थाउजंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फोर ये सगले काड़ी उपरान उरता एटी सेवन थाउजंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी आता एटी सेवन थाउजंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी हतुत भी सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट करपी भूगे आसा हतुत भी जे गवर्मेंट ऑलरेडी जॉब मेलो जे कॉन्ट्रेक्टर आंने अपने नाव डिलीट कर मु संगना आपक फोन कर विचार पड़ता तुका जॉब आता तो डेटा जो आसा पे नी तो डेटा सेंटर घून वेरीफाय कर गवर्मेंटा नौकरी लगे तो वैतले ऑलरेडी डेटा सेंटर गला हूँ जर गवर्मेंट तो टेम्पररी आसा कि गवर्मेंट पर्मनंट आसा जैसे वो फिगर जो आ पी वो फिगर आता ऑलमोस्ट तीस से पस्तीस हजार योपा जाए मज़ो अंदाज आसा तेजेर वर्किंग करता आता दुसरे ते सी एम आई जी संगली पी नी हि गवर्मेंट बॉडी नी कि खीच नी इट इज अ सर्वे करपी एक एजेंसी तं कदाचित एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजी तो घला सर्वे आ सका फुढ़े जे नौकरी जाए मुझे उबे आसता सकटिस्टिक्सान फिगर तो प्लेनिंग एंड स्टेटिस्टिक्सान एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजी फिगर दिला ओके स्पीकर सर वो फिगर दिल्ल आसा हाँ पर फिगर स्पीकर मोर देन नेशनल एवरेज स्पीकर सर तो सी एम सी एम आई चे संगता जो संगला तो सी एम आई चे संगला अब हाँ तेतर ये स्पीकर सर पर जो संगले पे नी हम लेबर एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट मिनिस्टर इन डिटेल स्टेटिस्टिक्स तक कित जॉब फेर लाया उपरान नौकर ऑफर कित जी ती ऑफर तीन संगली एटी दोन हजार दोन हजार एकशे वीस लोक ऑफर दिल्ली आसा तो ताजा भाई हमें स्वयंपूर्ण गोवा प्लेनिंग एंड स्टेटिस्टिक्स हे अंतर्गत करियर गाइडन्स प्रोग्राम घपा सुरवत किया फाटले दोन करियर गाइडन्स जे आसा पे हाँ पर्सनली डायरेक्ट भूगें वाला उलयला ते उपरान एक्सपर्ट मुझे शेनवार जे आसा नी वॉट नेक्स्ट आफ्टर टेन्थ आनी वॉट आफ्टर टुवेल्थ एंड वॉट आफ्टर ग्रेजुएशन हा प्रोग्राम डायरेक्टर ऑफ हायर एड्युकेशन आ डायरेक्टर ऑफ एड्युकेशन मुझे तंका करियर गाइडन्स मार्गदर्शन करपा खाती तू मा तेजी कि कसले प्रोग्राम घे हजर इन डिटेलान जे आसा पे नू ये डिस्कस के उलयला आता हम बाब मैकल उलयता पे नी बाब मैकलान संगले कार्पेंटर आसपा जाए स्किल वर्क आसपा जाए प्लेन पेंटर आसपा जाए प्लम्बर आसपा जाए ये सगले कोर्स हम आई टी एत शिकता वीच इज अ वन इयर आई टी आई कोर्स आका इयर आई टी आई कोर्स उपरान जो एप्रेंटिशीप प्रोग्राम सुरवत के एप्रेंटिशीप प्रोग्राम निलेशान संगला ते पंद्रह हजार भूगे जॉइन जाए नौ हजार इन द गवर्मेंट सेक्टर आ उ स हजार इन द प्राइवेट सेक्टर एक वर्षा खीर तंक आठ हजार धा हजार चौदह हजार अस तंका स्टाइफ क्या खीर ये तो वर्क कल्चर डेवलप जाचो मुन ये सुरवत के लिए हजा भाई आम स इंडस्ट्रीज एसोसिशन बरबर टाइप के सगले जान तक अपने कहीं एप्रेंटिशिपा दौर घता जेने कर कंटिन्ू करता ये फाटल फिफ्टीन जुलाई वो हम स्किल डे आशि 
आनी खंयच्या पद्दतीच्यो स्कील म्हणून हांवें सांगलें कला अकादमीच्या भायल्या कॉम्प्लेक्सान आमी एक एग्जिबिशन लायलें रिपोर्टरांनी सगळ्यांनी पळयला वॉट टायप्स ऑफ स्कील फ्रॉम नायन्थ स्टँडर्ड ऑनवर्ड्स तांच्या मदीं क्रि हॅबीट क्रिएट जावची म्हणून म्हणजे ह्यो सगळ्यो ब्युटी पार्लर पासून ते टर्नर आनी मेकानीक हे सगळे एग्जिबिशन लायल्ले आणि ते टायपचे कोर्सीस जे आसा पळय न्ही ते आय टी आयतन आम्ही सुरू केला आतां आम्ही आय टी एन आय टी आय इन हॉस्पिटेलिटी आम्ही जे तुम्ही हॉटेल लायनीचे जे उलयता पळय न्ही ते भुरगे हॉटेलांनी जॉयन जावपाक जाय पूण हो नवीन कोर्स हो आम्ही इंट्रोड्यूस केला जेणे करून ताज्या बरोबर टायअप केला आणि ताज्या बरोबर टायअप करता असताना स महिने प्रॅक्टिकल आय टी एच शिकोवपाचे आणि स महिने ताज्यातल्या त्या इंटर्नशीप म्हणटा तशें त्यांच्या हॉटेलांत सेम वे आमची हॉनरेबल फायनान्स मिनिस्टर श्री श्रीमती निर्मला सीतारामन हांच्यांनी इंटर्नशीप वो नवीन प्रोग्राम आम्ही जसो एप्रेंटिसीप करू खूब मोट्या प्रमाण ऑन द सेम लाइन तैंने इंटर्नशीप प्रोग्राम जो आता पैं वो इंट्रोड्यूस किया मिनिम टू मिनिम फाइव थाउजंड रुपीज पर मंथ ओके इट इज एन फॉर इं शिकता आसाना तू तो वाकड़े करूं ना शिकता आसान शिकोन जाया उपरान नहीं कारण थर फुकट घ सवय जाली आन संगले हमें तो ती ये जे आसा पैं तक इंटर्नशीप प्रोग्राम इंट्रोड्यूस किया वन क्रोर ऑफ द यूथ ये वायल डूइंग द स्टडी देल टेक द इंटर्नशीप प्रोग्राम आणि ते स्किलिंग रिस्किलिंग अपस्किलिंग जे म्हणता पळय न्हू ते करतले ताज्या भायर प्लस पॉईंट म्हणजे सी एस आरांतल्यान तांकां वन टायम स हजार रुपया त्या युथाक एकदा दिवप हे कंपनीचो जो सी एस आर आसा तांकां डायरेक्टली म्हणजे ऍटलिस्ट द फिफ्टी लॅक्स रुपीज ऑफ द सी एस आर डायरेक्टली दे कॅन यूज फॉर दीस टायप ऑफ यूथ डायरेक्टली तांकां हाका लागून एक वर्क कल्चर जो आसा पळय न्ही गोंयात न्ही देशात बरो वर्क कल्चर हो डेवलप जातलो खूब भूगे खूब मोटा प्रमाण फुढ़े शिकप लगते आता ये सगले करते वेगवेगे जे एम ओ यूज ये सगक सुरवत किया दुसरी गजल हम एक एड करता मैं गवर्मेंट ऑलरेडी एक नोट जी आर का नवीन किएं एक्सपीरियंस इज कंपलसरी आता एक्सपीरियंस खे कंपलसरी तू फाला सका जो आता नवीन जे पोस्ट ये फॉर द एम टी एस एंड एल डी सी ताजा खीर एक वर्षो एक्सपीरियंस वो कंपलसरी है तो खो फ गवर्मेंट नहीं प्राइवेट सेक्टर सुधा तुवे जॉब के एम टी एस मुझे आसूनी क्लार्क मुझे आसूनी एल डी सी आसूनी कॉम्प्यूटर ऑपरेटर मुझे आसूनी कि एक्सपीरियंस सुधा गवर्मेंट एक्सपीरियंस लगतलो तू मटा ते भूगे शिकोन घर केकार रहा निदान अपने एप्रेंटिशीप सर्टिफिकेट सुधा एक्सपीरियंस कन्सिडर के लिए वी एक्सपीरियंस सर्टिफिकेट तेजा भाई कन्सिडर के लिए वी तो एक्सपीरियंस जो आता पे नी वो तेजा खीर वो उपयोगी ठरतलो कन्सिडर कर आम्ही एकंदर जे असा पण वर्क कल्चर कसे वाढचे आणि चडांत चड मोठ्या प्रमाणात आमचे एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंज म्हणजे जेव्हा आम्ही ऑलरेडी आता बाकीच्या कंपनीक स्ट्रिक्ट आणि टाईटनेस हा फार्मा असोसिएशनच्या बरोबरही मिटींग केली ऑल द इंडस्ट्रीज असोसिएशन यांच्या बरोबर टाईम टू टाईम आमचं इंडस्ट्रीज मिनिस्टर हा किंवा लेबर अँड एम्प्लॉयमेंट मिनिस्टर तांच्याकडे उलोवपास सुरुवात केल्या जेणे करून मॅक्झिमम लोक जे असा गोयकार कसे घेऊचे हे त्यांच्याकडे आम्ही कम्युनिकेट करीत असा बट त्याच लागून म्हणजे आम्ही जसे म्हटलं की तांचे आता स्पॉन्स तू डायरेक्ट कँडिडेट स्पॉन्सर्ड करप खंयच्याय कंपनीक डायरेक्ट ती सिस्टम जी आसा पळय न्ही ती ऑनलाईन म्हणजे तुवें जे म्हटलं की नाही तांचे जर वॅकन्सीज आसात जाल्यार ऑनलाईन त्याच्यानी आमच्या पोर्टला वेल्यान चूज करून तांकां डायरेक्ट इंटरव्ह्यूक आफोवप हे ऑलरेडी प्रॅक्टीस सुरुवात केली म्हणजे वी हॅव अव आमचो पोर्टल जो आसा पळय न्ही एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजीचो हो डायरेक्टली कंपनीक ताजी लिंक दिल्या म्हणून तुमकां जे क्वालिफाईड इफ सपोज समवन वॉन्ट्स द बी एस सी इन कॅमेस्ट्री जाल्यार दे कॅन डायरेक्टली कॉल द बी एस सी कॅमेस्ट्री म्हणजे एडवर्टायजमेंट करिनास तर सुद्धा आमच्या एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजीच्या पोर्टला वयल्यान तांच्यांनी भुरग्यांक डायरेक्टली कॉल करपास जाता तांच्यांनी इंटरव्ह्यूक आफोवपास जाता हाजे प्रोविजन जे आसा पळय न्ही ऑलरेडी आमच्या एम्प्लॉयमेंट एक्सचेंजीतल्यान केला आणि ते मॅक्झिमम भुरग्यांक आता कॉलय करतात आणि त्या पद्धतीत इंटरव्ह्यू घेतात हाज्या पलीकडे अशा पद्धतीत वेगवेगळ्या पद्धतीत सरकाराचो प्रयत्न चालला की मॅक्झिमम गोयकार यूथ जो आयदर गोंयातल्या असलेल्या इंडस्ट्रीयल डेव्हलॉपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशनात असलेली फार्मा इंडस्ट्री किंवा बाकीच्यो सगळ्यो इंडस्ट्री हातूंत एकॉमोडेट करपा खातीर आमची तयारी आसा लास्ट वयता असताना हांव एकूच सांगता बाब बेंजीन सांगलें की आपूण कॅप्टन म्हटल्या उपरांत आपूण सगळे ऑफिसीस हांगा हाडटा तू ऑफिसीस हाड वेलकम हाव तांकां जागो दिवपे प्रोविजन करता तू गोयच्या भूग्यांक तू बाणावलेच्या लाय आणि आमच्या मडगावातल्याय लाय बट लाय लावप गरजेचे असा तुझे ऑफिसीस हाड गोयान तांकां जागोय दिता 
कारण तू क्या तू बोटीचो कॅप्टन आणि तो प्लेनाचो कॅप्टन म्हटल्या उपरांत सगळ्यांचे ऑफिसीस सुद्धा हांगा घातल्या जातात दोतरान बरी सारखी पार्थ सांगिलिंग तेसो हा किंवा सांगता बिकॉज आय एम रिडिंग फ्रॉम द प्लॅनिंग अँड स्टॅटिस्टिक्स डेव्हलपमेंट स्टॅटिस्टिक मिनिस्ट्री नाव स्पीकर सर एज प पिरियोडिक लेबर फोर्स सर्व्हे रिलीज्ड बाय द युनियन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टॅटिस्टिक्स अँड प्रोग्राम युअर अँड इम्प्लिमेंटेशन युअर सिंगल इंजिनर जे गोवाज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट इज द सेकंड हायस्ट इन द कंट्री दिस सर्व्हे वॉज रिलीज्ड ऑन ऑक्टोबर नाईन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बाय द युनियन बाय द युनियन मिनिस्ट्री प्लॅनिंग अँड स्टॅटिस्टिक्स वेबसाईट आल्यान उलयता हा स्पीकर मुखेलमंत्री इतलो सारखं हे झाला सर झुरकोटी घाता सारखी बॉलिंग आता पहिले मात्र टॅबलेट उलयतालो आणि सर बॅटिंग करूक दिना हे की झुरकोट घाता बॉलो इट सेज that lakshwadeep has the highest unemployment rate followed by goa ye tu gele engine sangta mukhel mantri bap ye ki sangta tu anka sar ke pa tu figure sar figure is i au mai chit pa lagalo ye kit kam ye tu ye tu gele double engine je ha oile tet sangta honorable minister as honorable chief minister has already replied honorable member actually they have given only 2505 ipb had proposed 24300 jobs actually they have given only 2505 jobs ani it is good sri uh, cm an sangli the internship dilti it is very good we will take up india airlines a ke jo manifest karlo ti tu tu kadun kel tumi which is very good congratulations tumka amge copy kel tumi india airlines ache bur gazal honorable minister now we will take up the group of demands listed for today because sir uh, on the recommendation of the honorable governor i would like to move demand number 13 19 and 31 the demand is put voting of no i put the demands before the house because sir uh, the demands are before the house she really all amount to move the cut motions because i would like to move the cut motions li- listed against my name in the circulated list number 5 she wants vegas Speaker sir I would like to move the cut motions listed against my name in the circulated list number 5 Cruz Silva like I would like to move the cut motion listed against my name in the circulated list number 5 Carlos Ferreira Sir I would like to move the cut motions listed against my name in the circulated list number 5 Shivaresh Burkar Sir I would like to move uh, the cut motion listed against my name in the circulated list number 5 The cut motions are before the house before uh, everybody starts speaking i would request each member to kindly curtail your demands within 5 minutes and uh, honorable no i i let me let me complete honorable member honorable member please please sit down okay to please curtail to 5 minutes 5 minutes and uh, please put your demands forward there seems to be more storytelling here than the actual demands so i would request each and every member to please be specific with the demands and do not waste the time of the house 10 minutes shri kalus ferrera honorable speaker i don't think 5 minutes i'll be able to no, justice it is it is not referred to I, the I opposition brief, it, it is only for the ruling okay fine fine yaar <laughs> ruling is on a strict diet diet a che gaila din strict diet ruling member ang dotor mar tang diet a che gaila honorable speaker i rise to support my cut motions and oppose the demands i am speaking on demand number 13 19 and 31 as far as the demand on transport is concerned demand number 13 uh, the first thing i want to point out is speed governors in renter cars we find that tourists are speeding they are turning turtles in the vehicle it you can't turn turtle if a vehicle is moving slow so it is definitely they have been driving very fast and in a rash and negligent manner under section 110 1f of the motor vehicles act it empowers the government to make rules for regulating cons- construction and equipment of motor vehicles and because of this honorable speaker the government of india has brought out rules which is rule 118 
which contains provisions relating to speed governor. In 2015, the Government of India gave particulars of which vehicles were supposed to have speed governors and they tried to bring an exemption and then in 2017 they withdrew the exemption. The Supreme Court Committee on Road Safety Monitoring immediately directed that mandating the speed limit uh, equipment to be devices to be fitted. And in this, I have seen that we have people who drive as if they come for races, either on highways, village roads, or even on the bridges when we see them driving at very, very obnoxious speeds. And I think, therefore, it is imperative that the government should implement and enforce the speed governor rule. It is not simply fitting them, because sometimes you have a certificate that it has been fitted. But after that, they are disconnected and they continue to ply as if there is no speed governor. I am also told that certain speed governors after fitment, after they are connected, still malfunction. My question is, what do you do to ensure this? Because this relates to safety of our passengers, safety of people walking on the road, safety of commuters and safety of other vehicles. The second thing we have got is tourists who drive rashly, doing stunts and driving on beaches. I think first thing the government should do is direct these people who are giving these vehicles rent -a cars on hire to have a list of do's and do's because most of the people don't know. They just come, they, they have a license and they don't know where they're supposed to go and where they're not supposed to go. If they're told about it, I think at least 50% of them will try to follow. But there's another thing. Unless you wield the stick, no one complies. And therefore, I believe, if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Therefore, it is important that we should ensure that these vehicles which are driving, these rent-a-car vehicles, should be penalized with heavy penalties, including jail penalties, because if they are made to stay one day or one night in the jail, nobody will want to spend their holiday in a jail. And therefore, I believe that when you are rough and you are tough, you are bound to get action which they will make sure they comply. Is it not surprising that when our very same people who travel abroad, they drive vehicles abroad, they follow every rule in the book, they are so disciplined, but when they come here into India, they drive, drive as if there is no tomorrow. Therefore, I believe that we have to be tough with them. Invariably, the owner ends up being summoned by the police. The owner is also being made liable along with this driver who disappears from the scene. And at the end, the owner suffers because his vehicle is damaged or completely destroyed. We also have cases of drunken driving. Now, in drunken driving, it is twofold. One is the tourists who drive these cars and also our own locals. Let us be honest about it. I had spoken about this drunken driving in the house and I had pointed out that we need to enforce this rule to prevent drunken driving so that we don't have these accidents and fatalities on these roads. Imagine, I remember there was an incident where in a famous pub in Kandolim Beach, a lady sat in the car, completely drunk, started the car and just drove and knocked somebody down there. This is not, we don't send people, we do, our children don't go out there to get knocked down by some drunken uh, driver. And we don't want this to happen. And I had stated to this house, I made a suggestion, that when you're having these pubs operating in the night, you know you're giving them the excise license beyond certain hours for a fee, no problem. You also make sure that they pay a fee to keep your motor vehicle inspectors or police so that you man this and make sure that these people are checked for alcohol. This does happen even in other parts of India, in Bangalore or in Bombay, wherever you go in Delhi. There are police waiting outside the pub. You sit in the steering and they'll catch you. Ahead also they will check you. Otherwise, they feel that they are empowered and they are charged and now I can stand on one leg, they can't even turn the wheel of that car and they will hit somebody even at a start. So I believe that the government should be tough, don't forgive anyone, let him spend one night also in the jail 
and he, nobody will then do it. Because they tell you, you look at it, go to any other place, they tell you, oh, the police is very strict. So they will go in a group, one doesn't drink, the others may drink, and that sober person is the one who will be the one who drives. There's one more thing which I want to point out to the August House, is that there is a provision in the Motor Vehicles Act. The provision in the Motor Vehicles Act was introduced by the 2019 amendment. And I will pass a copy of this to the Honorable Minister. It is section 210D. It is a very, very good move which was brought in by the central government. I'm giving just the relevant page because the whole gazette is not needed. In this, there is a provision. First, it's uh, 210C speaks about the central government which may make rules for design, construction and maintenance standards for national highways. That does not come into you. But 210D is for the state government. It, and I'll read this. The state government may make rules for design, construction, and maintenance standards for roads other than national highways and for any other matter which is or may be prescribed by the state government. Now, I want to bring this to the notice of the Honorable House. That when this uh, section was introduced, when this amendment was introduced, the Honorable Union Minister himself said, we are bringing this to make these contractors accountable so that we have good quality roads. And therefore, I believe we must have a shift in our thought process. It will take resistance, I, I warn the Honorable Minister. It may be resistance which may come from another department, but I think you must enforce this because statutorily the duty is cast upon you to frame these rules because it speaks about the transport department making 210D, it is. I have ticked that there. Uh, and it speaks about state government making rules for roads other than national highways. Do you see that? I'll just read again. The state government may make rules for design, construction and maintenance standards for roads and other national highways, other than national highways and for any other matter which is or may be prescribed by the state government. And I say why? Construction, let the PWD do. I'm not saying you become a constru uh, construction company or an agency, but you have to give the direction because you will know where accidents take place. You know where speed limits are required to be maintained. The PWD doesn't know. The PWD will come and install a board. You will know from your feedbacks the moment you all get in your, feet, in your systems about vehicle damages, insurance claims, and the police are the other ones who come to know about these things. And that is how you start identifying black spots and all other things, and therefore you control traffic at these places. But if we have bad roads, I think this will be a major problem for us. The union minister, the honorable union home, uh, minister of transport, Mr. Gatkari, himself said very recently, I'll pass this down. One for the Honorable Speaker and one for the Honorable Minister. He even went a step further to say engineers to be held accountable, face action for any pothole on national highways. So please understand this. If, they, you, if you are strict, then you can take action. Of course, I will bring to the notice of this Honorable House that when such kind of action came before the Kerala High Court, the judge himself said that you need to make sure that the engineers go on the road and do these works, not sit in their office, because unless they're physically present, they don't know what's to be done. Now, I'm going to deal with a controversial topic that is tourist taxis and app aggregators. I know this is a very controversial topic and our local taxi is often called mafia. But if you remember, before these aggregators came in, our local taxis were very much loved by domestic tourists and international foreign tourists. 
they would even contact them back and they would book them again and again. There's also a sense of belonging, a sense of familiarity and a familial relationship which is developed between these people, the customers and the taxi owner. They are almost like a family relationship. And that is why the system and the tourism was going well. I don't know when it started going bad, but now with the app aggregator coming in, with great respect, I remember strong battles being made, strong opposition being made. Remember one thing, there are some black sheep in every family, family in every profession, including our legal profession, there are black sheep, I don't say no. But just because of a handful, you don't kill the entire industry. And therefore, I want to point out that when there is a tourist taxi, that, that was called tourist taxi in those days, now they are called some different word, I will tell you what they are called. But uh, tourist taxi, they need a badge. For a badge, you need 15-year domicile. You need a police clearance certificate. You also need a character certificate and eight standard pass. If you need your 15-year domicile over here, you definitely cannot have somebody who's from out. Because unless that person satisfies the, domestic, the domicile requirement. But these app aggregators, large number of their drivers, to our understanding is, they are employing a non goans who don't have the badge. There are a few of ours, the local taxi owners also, who have employed such people, but I say we should enforce this rule across the board, doesn't matter even if it is at the cost of these people, but everyone must be uniform across the board to have this badge, and without a badge, you should not be able to sit on the steering wheel of such vehicles. My feedback has been that if a vehicle, a taxi, which is with a goa miles, or these step app, taxi, uh, app aggregators, then what happens is that police or whoever the RTO says, oh, I'm from this goa miles, after a little detention, they are let off, as if they are above board, above law. So I believe that you need to have strict enforcement of the rule to ensure that our people get the benefit and there is no such type of flow. Second part is identification of this app aggregator. If you go out of Goa, you see this Ola, you see Uber, whatever is mentioned, on the taxi it is there. But here our taxi drives without, no, you don't know whether he is, he is of A company or B company of the aggregator. He just keeps going. And if he just bluffs that he belongs to that, you have to so believe it. Therefore, I believe that let them be identified and for another reason I will tell you. What they do is, there is no stand for these vehicles, but they come into the villages and hang outside these guest houses or outside the hotels. And they wait there after dropping the passenger and they strike a deal. You call me, I'll be outside. And then directly on a call they pick up that same passenger and they keep going. So, they used it for the first trip and thereafter they keep recurring to get this and the aggregator is left out. I'm not arguing in favor of an aggregator but pointing out how this kills the local to uh, tourist taxi business which is operating in our own villages. Now, why are these, our people being called mafia? Because it's generally relating to the fees which are being charged or the rates which are being charged. First thing I want to point out, these app aggregators focus mostly on the coastal belt or in places where there is large business. They don't go into the hinterland unless occasionally. I have also got complaints of people saying that when they book and they are called, they don't want to take trips where there is no return trip. So therefore they cancel it. An app aggregator like Goa Miles has got an app on which you have an option of vehicles. And then when you have an option of vehicles, one such vehicle is an SUV, but they don't have SUVs. They give you a different vehicle, like an Innova or something else will come. The SUV, character, this goes for a Bolero, a Scorpio. So you have already paid, you get another one, you don't think what really happened. 
but in the process you have lost. So please understand this. Second, you have to pre-book. There is an option for post-payment, post-trip payment. But you have to have a minimum 350 into their account, which means a money of yours will be cut, you like it or not. As if they will blame you, you fight in the court, you have no time for this. The question now is, I have heard sometimes even the government says, oh, they are offering cheaper uh, rates. Yes, and I know under Motor Vehicles Act there is a provision where you can offer any amount which is less than the notified rate. If that is so, that means that a contractual rate which you can agree. If it is so, I don't mind when an individual taxi does that with a customer. You may say I will take your taxi for five days and therefore I will charge you this lesser rate but not higher than the prescribed notified rate. But if your Goa miles which came along with some Goa taxi patron or something like that, when you have this, because that is now become part of Goa miles, when you are having this in collaboration with a state agency, which is the GTDC, that means the government is promoting Goa miles. And if the government is promoting this app aggregators, it means that the government being in the dominant position is allowing unfair competition. When you allow such unfair competition, do you call these other people who charge as per the rate a mafia? I want this to be made clear because if you have cases of overcharging, let there be a written complaint, let action be taken, suspend that vehicle and take action as fit by law. But simply making allegations because they charge you the notified rate, that becomes the problem. And therefore, the public perception is that these are mafia because you say that they are mafia. But not telling what is being done. I will tell the Honorable Speaker that when this Goa Miles was being introduced, I remember that many of the taxi people came and saw me because they were not happy with this introduction. I remember at that time Goa Miles was being offered a lot of incentives and discounts, including not payment of a fee for one year. And I remember Michael Lobo himself uh, espousing the cause of the local taxi drivers and he was working very hard. He continues, I know, to, even to this day, to espouse their cause. But unfortunately, the government of the day ran over us and allowed them to come in. I have no problem about it. But there is another thing which happened. Parallelly, a petition was filed before the Competition Commission of India in Delhi, where some of our taxi owners were hauled up there, including a priest, who was supporting the local community. We had to engage lawyers, I had to draft replies, and we finally, at the end of the day, we succeeded. We got it thrown out. I asked this one question to the government. Just because they were opposing, you ran to commission, uh, you didn't, but a petition was filed before the competition commission. What you do today, with your dominant role, and virtually threatening and pressurizing the local taxi. Don't you think this is unfair trade practice where you need to be hauled up along with these uh, app aggregators before com uh, competition commission? I think we need to look into this. And I say there's also one more issue which comes up, which many people don't know. These app aggregators have got something known as a dynamic rating. Dynamic rate. When it rains, the charge goes up. When it is time, when schools are left, you know, then the offices are, people are going home, instead of being less, they make it higher. So it's, it fluctuates. For the same distance, depending on the demand, if the demand goes up, the rate goes up. It's something inverse, which I normally thought when you have a high demand, rate falls, but it goes up and sometimes not available. So I, how does the government think of attending to this kind of situations? And then booking of the vehicles, I've already mentioned about it. 
just another three minutes I will run. There is taxi stands for the hotels. When the taxis had started in the beginning with business, that time they were being told if you want permit to run a business at a hotel, then you have an NOC. So like the uh, hotel itself will say, okay, five taxis, ten taxis, and they used to have a queue system. Without that NOC, you could not get a permit. Unfortunately, that has now been done away. And now you call what I said now is motor cabs. And under the scheme of motor cabs, this NOC is not being asked for. And that is what we are hearing. Fights and sometimes guests being affected. And I, I actually feel very bad when I see that because I don't believe we should have a negative perception across the world because Goa is very famous tourist, international tourist destination. And if we have this kind of things happening in the process, the tourist gets confused, the tourist is scared, the tourist is frightened, the tourist may leave and never come again. We don't want these kind of things. Finally, even these hotels are built here to boost our economy and to provide jobs for our people. But if they are going to start providing jobs for these people, then what happens to the fate of the locals over there? I think the government needs, to, whatever view you may have, whatever I may have expressed, I still said I'm putting my points across, but I would request the government, call them to the negotiating table. I know sometimes some are a little hot-headed and some are very, you know, they don't change their mind. We can try to sit down with reason. And I think if the government can invite the people, we can have a happy resolution in this behalf. If you remember, there was once a telecom company, I won't have to name it here, the telecom company came in giving free service to everybody and everybody started running and subscribing to it. Then it gave, after one year, they said very minimum charges. After the minimum charges, a little minimum more. And finally, they are market dominating players. This is the way, if you remember in history, how merchants became rulers in India. They came simply for trading and ended up being rulers in our nation. So I think we need to attend to this and quickly intervene so that we can have a good resolution. I also have learned one more thing, that drivers from neighboring states of Goa have approached the chief minister or the government to allow their drivers with their badges to be employed in Goa. I request the government of Goa not to allow this, otherwise we will have others coming and our locals losing their scope for employment. On the second aspect, I just want to speak about it, is on the meter renewal fees. Uh, when the re meters were being installed, I was there myself, we were wanting, we were opposing it at that time, and such expensive meters, and now the renewal fee is coming to 4,500 a year, which is the cost of another uh, uh, meter. So I think the government needs to ask these companies because after having given certain companies the exclusive privilege, I think you ask them to give a discounted rate and not to have such high rates. But they are being charged for it. As far as KTC is concerned, I have this thing in particular. It's an aged fleet. And I know the Honorable Minister is making something to have an environment-friendly uh, type of these EV, EV buses. But those EV buses don't come into our villages with the narrow roads. And the, uh, when we had requested for change of the bus, you all were gracious enough to give me one EV vehicle. But unfortunately, what happened was in the narrow rain, uh, roads of Britona, Ekoshi, Pomburpa, that side, the bus touched somebody's tiles. Those people came out, stopped the bus, beat up the driver and the conductor was pulled and then they said we are not coming again. So I don't want those buses. Please give us some regular buses which fit on those roads because those buses are really big. Keep them on the highway, keep them where there are broad roads, but don't give where they will end up getting beaten. Please another two minutes because there's so many things are there here. I don't like to cut short. Uh, and other thing is, uh, we have a bus which leaves from uh, Panjim, going through Sukor, coming into Ukasai, Bastora, going to Mapsa. This is one bus I have to make one special mention because it breaks down frequently. There's no replacement. There's no one telling what is happening. And people who have gone get inconvenienced. People who are waiting don't get a bus. 
I think, and so many times we have to phone them up asking, where's the bus, why is the bus not come, it has broken down. I request the Honourable Minister to kindly just look into this, because I generally don't have other complaints, but this is one which goes along a big route and I think we should look into it. Bus stops are very pathetic and I think we need to ensure that we need some benches, we need even the roof, some of them don't even have the roofs. As far as uh, KTC drivers are concerned, I think you all have already got a representation from the KTC drivers of the arrears of seven pay commission. And there was a settlement which was done, and it says there, I'll only read paragraph nine of that settlement. It is agreed by the employer that those workmen who have either expired, superannuated, terminally ill, or disab disabled after 1-1-2016, till 31st October 2018. 2016 is that, and 31st October is your date, when you all agreed, shall be eligible to all arrears payable as and when decided on approval given by the state government. Therefore, it requires your approval. I would request these people, they get very small amounts, but even that may be a financial burden, I understand, but I request, please pay them. I know of certain cases of Kadamba ex-employees getting 1,000 rupees as pension, which is very, very poor, very meager. Uh, another thing now I want to speak on is about the panchayats. A panchayat's GIA grants have been reduced and I think that uh, I think the minister should try to make a demand to get higher amounts because otherwise a panchayat will hardly end up getting 10 lakhs in a year and we should not be sufficient to do any work in the panchayat. Second is the timely payment of amounts to a panchayat. Uh, please make sure the payments are made. And one major thing I want to speak is about the transfer of panchayat secretaries. Uh, we have in Bastora, I think it's somewhat something unique where we have a magnetic secretary. Why I use the word magnetic is <laughs> because after transfer, this secretary comes back because I know only magnets have that power of attraction. And this magnetic secretary has been there for nine years. I had brought it to the attention of the government in 2023 and the government was pleased to transfer the secretary, but magnetic powers that this secretary has, I don't know what is the fatal attraction, because you know a magnet cannot work on a singular, this thing. It has to have an attraction. The other pole has to attract. Where is that pole attracting? I don't know. But I think this, uh, I request nine years is a long time. Why you want to come back? What is your personal interest in the matter? If you love to sit in one post, naturally suspicions arise. And then your behavior also changes. And that is why people came to me and told me about these issues. I want to just point out one small thing. This I won't talk totally in detail, but I'll just pass this across. These are just suggestions. So I'll copy her. One copy, Hercules. One copy for the Honorable Speaker, one for the Minister. Uh, Uh, Honourable Speaker, there is one thing I want to point out to the Honourable Minister. I'm making little suggestions because I've just given you your chart so you don't have to take notes. It is only a request for increment of expenditures because I put what is existing on one side and what is a proposed revision on the other side. So if you can look into it because this has financial implications, I don't want immediately you say yes I will do but you can just look into this so that including increasing of the staff, please look at the item number two because how much stuff we got. Because today you're asking, fill online things, computerize, submit these reports. It becomes very difficult with the existing strength of the staff, including computer operators which are needed post to be created. Otherwise, it becomes very, very, very difficult for panchayats. They will have to work till 10 o'clock in the night and uh, they are not accustomed, they will not be able to do that. Uh, other thing is, now last thing I want to talk is about uh, industries. I know that Honourable Minister has the power of bringing good industries into Goa. And when I meet good, I talk of good non-polluting industries. And I've seen his efficiency in the manner in which he will communicate effectively. And so therefore I would appeal to him that get good industries because I think our industries are moving out of Goa. And therefore I think that we should try to bring some better incentives and attractions which we can. Uh, if you remember industrial uh, the, uh, what's that called, uh, the IDC Act uh, has a provision, I think section 34 or something like that, which exempts 
uh, requirements of village panchayats from uh, having to give any say or NOCs and all that because you're the one who gives everything at your level. So and you collect the fees. So see these kind of things by which it becomes like a single window so that you can process everything at your level. Let everything in the industry be controlled by you at your level. Let it not go. You can even have, let us say, even if you have to go to some factories or something, let it be all inbuilt into your thing so that you can get everything done. And this way you, like how you see other states running, inviting investors, big, big investors, I think we can do that and I'm confident you'll be able to achieve these targets. Other thing is the Investment Promotion Board. I only appeal to the Honourable Minister, let the Investment Promotion Board not be a route to allow people to dabble into real estate or to allow people to propose projects, get them cleared and then propose them to sale to somebody else. Because I think this is what is going on. You may not realize it, but you may realize when it's going in for a transfer or you allow somebody by a proxy to start running that uh, establishment for which it is, because the question comes is, how many have you cleared and how many have been set up? Then you'll come to know what really is going on, whether those procurements of the approvals were only with an intention of placing it on a platform, like you get a plan town planning approval and I sell your project. So I think that these are the major issues on which I, I am talking, and I request the government to kindly look into it. Just one thing, I just want to see if I've forgotten anything. There is one last issue I just want to say. I know that there has been a petition in the High Court relating to Gram Sevaks uh, functioning as Panchayat Secretaries because there are two different kind of posts. But having appointed Gram Sevaks as Panchayat Secretaries and for several years they have functioned as such and uh, I think that the government can consider whether you will can, uh, can uh, amalgamate both these posts. I think that will be something far better so that those people don't go because after having served, have experience, so I think that government can think of rationalizing that. I'm obliged. I request uh, we will uh, speak after you are. I request each and every member to kindly put in your request now because after four o'clock uh, the system will be locked. So, whoever wants to speak, kindly put in uh, the request on your uh, microphone. Dalai Lalabha, you can speak. I'll give you, you speak five minutes and you can continue. Or I'll give you extra time. We'll extend now. Speaker sir, I am here to support the demand listed for today. When it, uh, speaking about demand number 13, transport. Poyle Mulla Ramka, Kitli Lettery Korun, so many round, after around two years, I had got one bus. And it the bus, Todat this area, and it the one the And when I asked why that bus has been stopped, they are telling me that. Conductor is shortage. Ha. Ti mashe pochi. Marna uh, village area. Ahli ti maji bus. Secondly, re regarding our local taxi uh, uh, drivers, our local taxi, I would request the honourable minister to see that everyone follows the gazetted rate. Everyone. Maybe Goa miles and aha title to je soglani gazetted rate follow kurchi. And you have to know, uh, honorable speaker, amcha ya goinkar te taxi business and ha, ani te queue system and uh, hotel and fullan astat. I know as a hotelier uh, how the tourism is, the occupancy, Friday, Saturday, Sunday business, because it's Saturday, Sunday. And if you go to Goa Miles, you can uh, drop it and pick it up. I think this queue system where our local taxi uh, uh, people are there, the request is this Goa Miles should not come and take into, drop it, drop it, drop it, you don't come and, Pick, pick from that queue system. 
that gazetted rate has also to be revised periodically. Why I am saying it has to be revised? Ata poy amche mobile airporter drop up 200. Ata toll illoha. Regarding the rates, tomorrow I will talk in more detail when it comes to civil aviation. But these gazetted rates have to be revised periodically. Regarding speed governors, uh, speaker said I would request the Honorable Minister to see, to request uh, all the manufacturing um, companies or the showrooms to lock the ACM at 80 speed so that this, to, so that this, uh, our taxi guys don't have to buy these speed governors of costing 6,000 and the speed governor has extra insurance. You have to look into that also. Regarding digital meter, three years pass, costing 11,234. Every year passing, 4,600. Honorable member, the house is extended by five minutes. Yeah. Every year renewal korpa koi da dena 4,654 borung patta. This digital meter had three features. One is that GPS tracking. GPS track korpa azunui control room na. Dusre panic button. Ato panic button mallo basun zalaar tekaay control room na. And third is fare meter rate. That is there only. But since these two features are missing, I don't think. Um, this uh, renewal fees of 4,654 has to be reduced. And there should be capping on the licenses given to this uh, rent a bike and rent a car. I, my personal thing is no more licenses to be given for this rent a car and rent a bike. Speakers are talking about Panchayat. Increment in all the expenditure heads by 20%. Secondly, our legal fees, it has to be increased per panchayat at least 3 lakhs. Every panchayat goes into litigation. You have 1 lakh for more than, whose income is more than 5 lakhs. I mean, keep it to minimum 3 lakhs so that the panchayats are able to pay the legal fees. The clerical uh, staff to be increased in all the village panchayats by one or, one or two staff. Zaina, they also go online, huh? I know, I used to make my librarian work for me. So Zaina, they um, increase the income limit of panchayats for availing weaker panchayat grants up to 50 lakhs. Now it is 25 lakhs. The 50 lakhs are just so, the panchayat in the construction licenses by the Tatya or Sa Gainalar Gaina, but other um, year when their income again goes down to 25 lakhs, I mean, increase that thing to 50 lakhs. And please see that seventh pay scale is given to a panchayat staff. Regarding industries, I would request you to promote non polluting industries, which I'm, I know you are eager in. Any first preference should be given to our locals as far as employment is concerned in this non-polluting uh, industries. Any this job phase to be brought in this uh, by this uh, industries in the college ca campus. Thank you, Speaker, sir. The house is adjourned till 4:30.